today what I'm going to do is just show you how to get default screens, a new set of default screens that is, into your EFIS. The last couple of videos we did some really super simple editing and, and changes, but we were editing the default screens. Default screens are treated slightly differently to what MGL call custom screens. A custom screen is basically like starting from a blank canvas and it's loaded into the EFIS in a just a slightly similar but slightly different way to a new set of default screens. Default screens are actually coded into the EFIS software and that can't be changed. However, there is a way of uh, tricking the EFIS into thinking that it has a new set of default screens and I'm going to show you that. So let's say we finished editing our default screens um, and uh, we just want to get them into our EFIS. So what we do here is we'll go to mode and then select design. All of our screens were saved when we when we stopped editing them um, they are automatically saved. What we need to do is create a file called dfile.bin and uh, that sounds complicated but it's not because in this uh, designing box here there's actually a selection that you can do that and it's under this heading called defaults. So if I click on that you'll see the first item here is create dfile.bin from current defaults folder content. So what that'll do is all those default screens you've edited plus the ones you haven't edited it zips them all into this file called dfile.bin and that's the file we use to put into the EFIS to trick it into thinking it has a new set of defaults. So I'm going to do that now. Click on that and it asks us to confirm it. This will create the file dfile.bin in your defaults folder. So it tells you where it's going to store it. You can use this to replace the default files in an EFIS by placing this file in the screens folder. So it even tells you how to do it. Continue, yes. All right, now it tells us it's been created and stored in the defaults folder in the simulator program here. Let's click OK. All right, so we've got that file now, we just have to find it. And uh, it already told us where it was gonna store it. It was gonna store it in the defaults folder. So I'll get out of this, I'll go to the file manager the EFIS file manager and if I come across here and have a look at the defaults folder on the right hand side here and click on that it should be in there somewhere and there it is straight away it's up near the top this is just alphabetical order so default.bin is up near the top it wasn't there before it is there now and that's the file we need so we just use the file manager if you're going to put this in your real EFIS you need to put your SD card into uh, an SD slot on your computer or a, um, a USB adapter and then you would click on this default opt-in and drag it across to wherever your SD card is and just drop it into the root directory of your SD card. You can sort of simulate that on the simulator by uh, dropping it into this folder called MMC, Multimedia Card, and that, on the simulator, that simulates your SD card slot. So that's what I'm going to do, um, just for demo purposes here. So I'm going to drop that into MMC, and that simulates me dropping, copying that file across to an SD card. So what I would do now, of course, pull the SD card out of your computer, and off you go to the hangar. So now we want to get that uh, file into the right directory. So we're on our EFIS here. I'm in simulation mode at the moment. I don't need to design anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to menu and I'm going to scroll down a bit and go to the file manager. This is the file manager in your real EFIS. Two options here, log to SD slash MMC card or log on to your internal solid state disk in your EFIS. 
So I've put the I've plugged the SD card into the EFIS and I want to log on to that card. So I'll go here, log to the SD card, and there it is. There's that file, dfile.bin, it's on the SD card. I want to get it into the EFIS. So I'll click this checkbox, and now it gives me some options of what to do with it. I want to copy it to the solid state disk in the EFIS. That's this selection here, copy to SSD. So I'm going to click that. And now it asks me, what folder do you want to copy it into on this EFIS? And it needs to go in the screens folder. It won't work anywhere else. So I'm going to select the screens folder. And it's done. Um, I can check that. I'll just click out of this. I can check that it's gone to the screens folder by now logging on to the internal solid state disk. So I'm going to do that. Now this is the SSD in your real EFIS and it shows the, um, the, the folder structure here and there's the screens folder there. And we need to check that it's in there and there it is. Dfile.bin is now in your screens folder. What that does is when you reboot your EFIS, the EFIS always checks the screens folder for this file. And if the file is present, the EFIS says, okay, I've found dfile.bin, he wants me to use a new set of defaults in that file. If the file's not present there, it doesn't care. It'll just use its existing defaults which are written into its software already. So it's there, so now it's going to, uh, when you start it up, it's going to use a new set of defaults and when you go to your screen pages, whatever pages you've changed, you will now see reflected on your actual EFIS display. Uh, that, that's how it's done, that's how a new set of defaults are loaded using that file dfile.bin and it's all done through the, the simulator program, it creates that file for you. All you have to do is copy it across to your SD card, plug your SD card into your EFIS, use the menu to navigate to the uh, file manager on the EFIS, log on to your SD card, select the file and copy it to your solid state disk in your in your EFIS display. Copy it to the screens folder. No other folder has to go in the screens folder. And that's it. Now you've got a new set of your edited default screens working on your EFIS. If you just want to go back to the old defaults and uh, it's a simple matter of logging back on uh, to your file manager in your EFIS and uh, navigating your way to the screens folder, select that file, dfile.bin, and delete it. Then it'll revert to its original uh, default screens that came with the display. And that's all. Uh, I'll show you the slightly different way of doing custom screens in another video. Cheers.